Right, okay, thank you for joining the Average Golfer uh, for another bit of club testing. We're going to be looking at closely the Epic Sub Zero Epic Standard Fairway Woods. Some big story behind these 2019 models, which we'll get to very shortly. Just a reminder if you've not watched this channel before, I call myself the average golfer, I'm a nine handicap golfer, so bear that in mind when you look at the performance, statistics, and obviously my opinion. Anyway, let's get straight into this club. Like I said, big stories on this one. I've been out on the course, uh, I've been in the driving range collecting dry ball data, done as much as I possibly can in this short period of time at least to get you my opinion on these two releases and we'll get to that uh, summary very very shortly but we've got to talk about the first thing which is flash face that is the big story about this whole range from Callaway in terms of the drivers and the fairway woods before I explain what flash face is all about let's throw some images up on screen and you can tell me what you think in terms of the visuals now for me uh, I said it on the uh, first when we put up the um, the driver images I'm not keen on the yellow uh, tones with that green to be quite honest with you and I'm also not keen on the name epic flash either that aside once again solid piece of kit it's not overly different in terms of its looks from the standard epic driver they've rebuilt the hosel uh, once again stripping down a bit of weight out of that as well um, in terms of how it looks when it's just behind a ball absolutely stunning anyway what is flash face? If you watch the drive, you already know, but wait for the difference in terms of what the computer, the supercomputer came up with in terms of the design for this face, so don't switch off just yet. Um, flash face was designed by a computer, a supercomputer as Callaway called it, artificial intelligence. So in effect, the engineers built the computer, the computer built the club face. And it came up with looking at We've got jailbreak technology. We all know about jailbreak, jailbreak technology in uh, in Callaway uh, Woods, so I won't go back into that detail. Um, and what they looked at was how they could couple the best possible club face to go with jailbreak technology and the other elements that are built into this club face to get the best performing club face for center, off center hits. And we're all talking about ball speed, aren't we, across that club face. Um, and the computer basically run through a number far more permutations than the human could do uh, in terms of the different algorithms in terms of the different variations of club face and what they came up with uh, on the driver if you've seen it was a very much a wave ripple effect in varying thicknesses uh, of the club face very different from the standard design what it did with three wood was quite different again and this is a bit that interests me it came up with a whole different design for this and if you have a look at the image I throw up on screen for you now Probably more similar to what you'd expected. However, not the norm. The norm would have always been that the slightly, excuse me, slightly thicker element of material would have been in the center uh, of the club and it would gradually get thinner towards the perimeter. And you can see these sort of uh, rings, oval shaped rings that it's produced, they indicate the different thickness, the thicker elements, if you like, of the club face uh, that the computer designed in terms of artificial intelligence and that's what it came up with in terms of flash face for the three wood so really interesting that putting the two together they came up with totally different club faces from that and that's where um, it was interesting listening to alan hucknell in terms of uh, from callaway in terms of their head design was that this kind of information doesn't in terms of copyright or the ability to copy this uh, intelligence over to another manufacturer, another club head design. It doesn't relate because this is very much all about matching the very best club face design to the actual build of the Epic Driver, to the build of the Epic Three Woods. So there's a number of variations that have gone in there. To, and, and it very much means that it's a, a very bespoke design for the club head that it is attached to. So that's flash face. Thing is, how fast was it? Did we get the fast ball speeds when we went out there on the course? And I went out there on the course not having the benefit of dry ball data. And I say the benefit, I'm trying to do this so I'm not persuaded by dry ball data, so no preconceived ideas out there on the course, how did it do? Well, first of all, from the T, as I've already said, I think it sits and looks superb. So plenty of confidence uh, at address. Absolutely walloped the ball, to be fair. and. Uh, I mean, let's get straight to the point here. One of the best three woods I've played for a long, long time. Three wood that's not been in my bag for a long, long time, and maybe that'll change as well very soon. But it performs so well off the tee. Lots of confidence. 
Um, I always, and I've used it in other videos in the last couple of days, easy to hit, nice easy swing, no great effort required, and the uh, ball seemed to zip straight off that club face. Um, yes, I can hit it left and I can hit it right, and I can do all those things that my swing will do, but uh, overall, I performed particularly well with it. And But the big story for me was not off the tee, because I don't have a problem hitting through it off the tee, it was off the deck, and I could not believe um, how easy it was to get the ball airborne. The launch conditions was unreal. Um, as soon as I put club on ball, it just fired in right up there. I mean, again, something I've not been able to do uh, confidently for a while, and it was uh, I've not found a club with the ability to do that, and it, and it launched the ball so well. Um, really, really high. Picked it up nice and clean. Powerful, again, and the interesting thing for me is what they've done with these fairway woods. Uh, they're available in... Um, there's the three wood i'm going to look down and just glance at these there's a five wood heaven wood which is 20 degrees seven wood 21 degrees nine wood 23 degrees uh i mean it's just and what have we got there 11 wood 25 degrees um so lots of variables in this lots of options and again for a number of players those lofted um fairways will be a great option and with those kind of ball speeds uh, that we were looking at, out there on the course at least anyway, and that ability to pick it up off the deck, absolutely superb performed out there on the course. I then went into uh, Four Golf Chester and we started hitting some balls to collect for some dry ball data to see what it says in terms of that. So I'm gonna throw uh, two lots of data up for you now. Uh, it's a standard model we'll look at first of all. So standard model, 139, I mean, someone in ball speed, 142 ball speed on them too is unreal. 15.3 on average launch, 2.6 spin, really good spin number for this type of club. 35 peak height on average and uh, 233 carry. That's with the standard. And then I'll throw the, um, I beg your pardon, that was with the sub-zero. I'll now throw the standard numbers up, which was 141 on average, very consistent uh, ball speed, in, all over 140. 15.4 launch, 29 spin, 36 peak height, 229 carry. I mean, I just go back to the numbers on the, on the Sub-Zero. 238, 236, 237, three balls out there. I mean, it, it performed so well in terms of carry distance. Um, Unreal. I mean, it was literally 10 yards short to 15 yards short. Out there on the course, was, in, in terms of dry ball data, it was 10 yards shorter. Um, in terms of reality out there on the golf course, when I hit driver and three wood off the same tee with similar sort of strikes, the driver was probably 15, 20 yards longer uh, than the three wood, which I suppose is about where you'd expect it to be. But really, really impressed with the overall performance. I love the looks of it. Um, in terms of the way the face has been designed, I think, once again, I'd like to get out there and play with both of these clubs, both versions of this club, for a longer period of time out there on the golf course, but also collecting some more dry ball data that can see. We've seen some really consistent ball speeds with this club. Was it just, the, and it was a small sample set of numbers. If we did that over a broader spectrum, what would the, uh, what would the numbers be then? That's what I would like to see. But on first glances, they seem to have produced something very, very decent here in this three wood. Um, I said it with the driver, and I'm gonna say it with the three wood. Um, I've not got through it in the bag because I've been struggling for a number of years to find something I'm comfortable with to use in a number of situations. This potentially is that. I'd be very confident almost saying that it is that because I would stick that in the bag straight away, but I'll hold back a little bit. We'll play a few more rounds out there on the course. I'm gonna do some stuff where we'll stick some head to heads together and pay a little bit more attention to overall performance once I've played with it for a number of rounds. But for the time being, huge, huge thumbs up. I can't wait for you to go out and try this and give me your own feedback because that's one person's opinion. As I always say on these videos, the important thing is it's all about what you think from how you find them and uh, I can't wait to see what it is. So in a few weeks time when the clubs get released, come back to this video, stick your comments down below and uh, see what, give me your opinions on performance for the time being. Give me your feedback on the story from Callaway on what you think it is in terms of looks and anything else you want to throw in there and I'll do my best to respond. Right, keep on enjoying this next few days because you're going to have 
and not just from me obviously there's a load of videos coming out so uh, you've got plenty of I was going to call it entertainment some might call it other but for the time being anyway keep on watching keep on enjoying them thumbs up if you like the video and I'll see you very soon